I indicated earlier, I'm told that for you to sound politically correct, you have to refer to this territory as Siayaka Baba. That is Raila's home turf. So far, nothing much to report in terms of the senatorial, uh, uh, the county positions. This is here a town whereby it is uh, the, uh, the constituency, the county, po uh, the county tiling center in that are uh, three county positions, the governor, the senatorial race, and uh, as well as the woman representative. This is where it should be going down. But uh, from the look of things, just as it has been the entire day, nothing much has been happening. The hall behind me, ideally, it should be teaming with agents as well as uh, deputy returning officers from uh, the six constituencies who are supposed to avail the results that uh, they collected in their respective constituencies, then bring them here to the county returning officer who now begins the process. But as you can see, that is the famous line, as you can see, the hall is uh, virtually empty and the few that are here, I believe they are agents, they've been waiting here, some we've been with them the entire day, they will be here the entire night, but uh, we believe that uh, maybe they know uh, that all is not lost because from the indications we've received from the county returning officer, that is Madam Catherine uh, Belinda Wandabwa, is that tomorrow, if all goes well, by 10, they should be calling. Uh, they should be calling the election. That is the three. Those are the three positions of the governor, the senator, as well as the woman representative. Of key interest, or where the where all eyes are, is the governor race that is pitting veteran politician, uh, the dean of activism, uh, the veteran uh, member, the veteran lawmaker James Agri Bob Orengo from Ugenya, who is actually battling out with the engineer, two-term member of parliament from Rarieda engineer, Nicholas Gumbo, who tried his first luck in 2017 but was unsuccessful. He is putting in his second bid, but this time round now, battling with a veteran politician and an ODM insider, Agri Bob Orengo. But, Ben, you'll allow me to engage the county returning officer, Madam Catherine uh, Bulinda Wandabwa. Just... Tell us, why is your county uh, hall virtually empty? Because everybody would be expecting that by now maybe you should be calling it a day in terms of what is happening here. I think the people that are supposed to be here are sure of themselves. Of course, the agents, some of them are outside in the vehicles, but uh, the candidates that are supposed to be here uh, requested, and uh, because the process was going to be the whole night, they said they'll go and rest and come back here tomorrow morning, which is acceptable because it was not um, so much. It's, uh, the results are already known because of the method uh, we've used as the commission. So they thought it wise they go and rest because they've been out there for the whole time campaigning. So most of them were very tired. And so it's okay. Tomorrow they'll be here at 9.30. So the agents that are supposed to confirm for us the forms as we print and scan, most of them are out there. So when we need them, we call them and they are coming in one by one to sign. And maybe they are resting in the vehicles. So for the benefit of the country, how long will it take tomorrow, as you've said? What time do you expect to have them trooping in one by one? How long will it take then for you to uh, declare, to call the election, uh, specifically the three uh, positions in the county? Uh, they'll not uh, drip in one by one. They'll come as a group, because even today they were here as a group, and uh, they requested that they'll be coming here tomorrow at 9.30. I'm believing they'll be here at 9.30 so that we can be able to declare them. Why we are working the whole night is because there's a lot of paperwork, there's a lot of verification we are doing so that by morning everything is ready for just announcing and declaration so that we can be able to award the respective seats or uh, the ones that have passed, the candidates that have uh, been elected, we can be able to give them their certificates tomorrow morning. That so 930. 9.30, so uh, you are saying by 9.30 or from 9.30, uh, again, to be specific from your projection, what time will you call the election? Uh, let us 10. We shall be through 10. 
because before today we leave this place before five we shall be through with everything so that morning we shall just be waiting for them yeah, for declaration thank you very much and we'll be getting in touch with you uh, in the morning 9 30 have said ben and winnie yes that the county returning officer catherine uh, belinda ondabwa who says that uh, uh they are here the uh to what I said that the hall is virtually empty, they are saying they've, uh, they have an MOU, that the agents are relaxing some of them in their vehicles and it's just a matter of time. Uh, the work is continuing, they are working uh, behind the scenes so to speak. The 9.30 everything should be falling in, uh, into place. By 10 we'll be able to know who is the new governor for CIA taking over from Cornel Rasanga, who has termed his uh, constitutional man, uh, term, uh, two-term limit, then who takes over from Morengo, who has been the senator, and uh, importantly, who will uh, be the woman county representative or the woman member of parliament for this particular county. Therefore, I think we'll have to leave it at that, and then hopefully by 9 in the morning, 9.30 thereabout, we'll be back to give you now the real uh, update on how the cookie will have crumpled, crumbled in this home county.